Okay, guys, let's go over the Speedmaster for some of you guys that are not familiar with my Speedmaster. It's 2018 Triumph Speedmaster. And if you guys are familiar with Speedmasters, uh, this really doesn't look like the way it comes out of the factory. There's lots of chrome on the Speedmaster, chrome exhaust, uh, brushed aluminum covers, and as you can see, everything's blacked out except the wheels. I left them chrome. Not sure what I'm going to do with them for the future. But I've had this for two years. It's been a great bike. I don't ride as much as I used to, but it's, I, uh, let's see what I added. I added those multifunction lights. I didn't like the tail light from the factory, so I got the multifunctions. They're really bright. I added these Max Willy bags. I kind of made some brackets to bolt to the uh, rear frame, and uh, they're pretty sturdy. And I, I like the look. I like that kind of uh, Sportster Harley Davidson lowrider look. Uh, what else do we do? Uh, let's see. Um, I had floor, floor board, I had floorboards on it. Let's see what else we did with it. Um, I had floorboards on it, but I changed them. I had a problem transporting. I broke the floorboard. The bike tipped over a little bit. Not much damage to the bike, just to the floorboards. And I put the uh, stock pegs back on. They're forward pegs, and yeah, they're okay. I did change the uh, handlebars to Bitwell trackers. Because uh, it's not that the other bars were uncomfortable. Um, for aggressive driving, they were uncomfortable. For normal cruising, they were good. But I like the look of the, the tracker bars. So, And then we put the tech um, levers on it. Those are Triumph aftermarket mirrors. or uh, after, well, That's the accessories from their catalog. Also multifunction lights up front. Uh, I don't like the way they stick out, so I'm going to get the shorter versions. They don't look right. Or I'm going to put some driving lights on it. I did have some fog lights on it, but they were Chinese. They worked for about a year, and then they, they fall apart, as always, with Chinese stuff. Dart fly screen, which I love. It keeps the window off my chest. You're still feeling the shoulders, but it does a pretty good job, and I like the way it looks. So and then I guess I'll go over and see what I did to it. That, uh, some people look at it, and they say, well, it, this isn't a Speedmaster. Well, no, it's a Speedmaster, but I, as you can see right there, but it's... Uh, the logo the emblem the factory emblem is a um like a plaque chrome and it's got the writing inside and i didn't like it it was just too retro for me and i like the bobber raised letter so that's what i went with the bobber raised letter and uh i guess that's about it i did have a corbin seat on it but my buddy's been riding it for a while and he likes the factory seat over the corbin and i like the look of the factory seat over the corbin to be honest with you but the corbin for me is more comfortable even though it's very, very firm. So that's it, folks. So we're going to be going for another ride again. And uh, I don't know if you guys like my helmet. It's a Bell uh, qualifier. It's not the most expensive helmet, but it has that transition shield, which is very pricey. It's, I think the shield's $150, but I like the uh, the um, the paintwork on it. It's a tribute to a P-51 Mustang from World War II. I thought it was kind of appropriate for this bike. So uh, that's it, folks. Um, Triumph Speedmaster 2018, 10,000 miles, and it's been trouble-free. Nothing. Not one single issue with this bike. All right. Out of here.